Hello, I'm Dr. Brad Revering with Cross Timbers Dental, and today's video topic is going to be on replacing a missing front tooth. We have patients that come in sometimes and their front tooth gets knocked out for whatever reason. Maybe they uh, had some kind of trauma, or maybe they just had an old tooth that was breaking down and they bit into something just the wrong way and the tooth just snaps off and, you know, it just it leaves them with nothing really in the front. And so they have to get their front tooth replaced. So uh, what we can do is have the patient come in and we're going to go over their options where they can ultimately decide on what they want to do long term to replace that missing tooth. There are some temporary options that we can give them, which I'll be going over in this video as well, to kind of get them, get, you know, get them by in the meantime. So let's go through real quickly the two biggest options uh, that patients will be choosing between when trying to determine if they want to do a bridge or a dental implant to replace their missing front tooth. So in this slide here, just kind of shows in summary the difference between the two. You have over here, you have the, the bridge, and that is where you use the neighboring two teeth to hold the fake tooth in place. And over here we have the implant, which is a replacement for the root that used to be there. So let's kind of go over that in a little bit more detail. Um, the bridge is, as this other just, uh, drawing just showed, is that the tooth is gone. And so now we go over here to step two, and you can see that these two teeth right here are being kind of reshaped in order to make room for something that's gonna slide over those teeth. And so the bridge is basically these three pieces, and they're all together as one piece, and that's going to slide over and be glued to, basically, those two neighboring teeth are going to help hold the fake tooth in position. Now, the steps for a bridge are the following. Uh, we're going to make a temporary bridge. So someone comes in and the front tooth is, is missing. We then take those neighboring two teeth, recontour them, and then we're going to make them a temporary bridge. Okay, that's something that we can, that can be glued in place but we or the oral surgeon can take that out and then go remove that root at a later date, or we may do it same day. But the, the point is, is that the, with the bridge is that you can wear a temporary bridge out of the office, you have something that's in place, if that's the avenue you, you, know, you, you choose. Um, let's see what happens next. Well, after everything is healed, okay, imagine this, the front tooth is, is broken off, you have the root that needs to be taken out when that comes out, the gum tissue around that root has to heal, and that takes about six to eight weeks for it to really kind of fin finally heal and get its final position. After that point, then we'll take an impression for the bridge so that the lab can make that fake tooth. Looks like it just emerges right out of the gum line, just they want to nestle it right up against it. So they can't take the impression ahead of time because the gums haven't healed yet. But with this option, what they can do is they can wear the temporary bridge, and when the tissue is finally healed, we'll come back, take the impression, and have the final bridge made in the lab. Now a dental implant's a little bit different in that it has um, the neighboring two teeth are not touched at all. Uh, it's just that the root, the tooth that has to come out anyways, that root comes out and then an implant goes in. But many times the implant doesn't just go in the same day. What happens is the tooth comes out and then a few months goes by and then an implant is put in. A few more months go by after that because the implant and the bone have to fuse tightly together and then a crown is put on. So during all of this time where we're waiting for the final implant and crown to be put in, there are uh, some temporary options that you can wear in order to kind of get you by aesthetically until it happens. So let's go over those real quickly. What you can wear for the front are basically three options. Uh, the one is called an Essex retainer. It's basically like a bleaching tray uh, with a fake tooth kind of nestled in the middle of it. And so that's this right here is that fake tooth kind of setting inside that tray. The next other one is called the Nesbit. It's like a little mini partial denture. It kind of clips in around the neighboring teeth. It kind of, uh, the, these little clips right here and right there, you can see they kind of hug around the neighboring teeth. And so it just kind of clips into place. And then the last option is a thing called the flipper. Uh, it's kind of like when, when a lot of times kids get finished with braces, they wear that retainer, you know, it has the pink acrylic up at the roof of the mouth and the wire that goes across. It's the same kind of thing, it just instead of a wire going across the front, they'll have a fake tooth uh, that's just kind of attached to that pink area. And so that is something that comes in and out as well. All three of these, since they are removable, they do come in and out. Some of these you find easier to chew with than others. It just kind of depends upon your own cir you know, special circumstances. So that is what you would wear in the meantime. But let me go back to the implant um, situation, how that plays out. What happens is uh, we will make a, a temporary, okay? That's going to be made here at Cross Tumors Dental. And then you're going to have the oral surgeons going to remove the, uh, the remaining root and then put in, uh, usually put in like a graft to kind of help that area heal better. That takes about three to four months. Okay, then we move on to the next step right here, which is then the uh, implant placement. The oral surgeon is going to place the implant, and then it's going to take another three to four months for the bone to heal around that implant. 
At that point, the oral surgeon will clear you to come back to see us. At that point, we'll take an impression for the final uh, crown that's going to go on the uh, implant. And that takes about a one month for processing. And so when you finally arrive, about nine months to 12 months in some cases before it's finally all said and done from the day that tooth comes out to the day it's finally replaced, it's about nine to 12 months. So it is kind of a process to get through. Uh, but the nice thing is, is that you get to just keep the single tooth problem a single tooth problem. You don't have to touch the neighboring two teeth. But with the, um, the bridge option, again, I talked about how we recontour those. But now let's take a look at kind of the pros and cons of each one of these two. So this is kind of a summary of bridge versus implant and which one is best, okay? So let's look at the bridge option first. The advantages, that's usually completed in about three months time. There's no surgery other than, of course, removing the, you know, the remaining root that's up there. It's gonna cost a little bit less than the implant. It's still in the same ballpark of, of fee, but it's gonna be a little bit less. It's gonna require fewer visits and the temporary that we make you is one that we glue in place that stays in the 24-7. The disadvantage of it, however, is that we have to take the neighboring two teeth and recontour those in order to make this bridge work. It's almost like taking two steps back in order to go three steps forward. Uh, we are relying upon these neighboring two teeth to now do the work of or the chewing function of three teeth. And so there's a little more stress placed on those two teeth. It's a little more difficult to keep floss because if all three of these guys are together, you really can't get any floss, you know, right between those, those teeth right there. And so it's a little bit more difficult. And if anything happens to any of those supporting two teeth, well then that compromises the entire bridge and you lose the entire bridge. With the implant, the advantages is that like I just mentioned earlier, you isolate the single tooth problem to a single tooth uh, replacement. You don't have to touch the neighboring two teeth at all. It's a little more stable than the bridge in that there won't be any potential rocking of it of a, of a prosthetic that's fitting over two teeth. It's just one tooth, so it's a little bit more stable. Uh, you, can able, you can floss around it. It's a little bit more natural to the feel um, than, you know, than a bridge would be. It's a little bit more like having your real tooth back. The disadvantage is it's going to take at least nine months, probably up to 12 months to fully complete this process. The temporary that you wear will be a removable one during that time. It's going to cost a little bit more. The surgery is required. Remember, you have to still have, to have the root taken out, but there's a surgery of putting the implant in, and it requires some more visits. But I can tell you, over the years, when I see patients coming for their checkup exams, I see they've got a bridge or I see they have an implant, I ask them, well, how do you like your bridge? And a lot of times they just say, oh, it's fine, it's good. I ask patients, how do you like your implant? Usually the response is, they love it. They, they think it's great. So in the end, uh, you have to decide which one is going to be best for you. And so hopefully this little tutorial has been helpful in kind of describing the differences between the two. And if uh, you ever find yourself in this position, we'd love to help you out and get you through it. Uh, take care. We'll see you in the next video.